A huge thank you to the EA's Creator Network for making this video possible. Guys, please keep in mind that this is FIFA 23 beta content. That means such things as gameplay, assets, and ratings of the players that you might see in this video are not final, and they might differ in FIFA 23. So keep that in mind and enjoy the video. Before we go any further, today's sponsor is Gamers Class. Gamers Class helps you improve at a wide variety of video games with different classes on different games by world-class gamers. So once you hop onto the platform itself, gamersclass.com, you can see that this is a very, very well-made site. It is extremely, extremely easy to find the thing that you need for yourself. I personally am wanting FIFA 22, right? In this case, we click on that one. And honestly, lads, we all have that one friend that keeps beating us in FIFA, right? And keeps bragging about it. This is your time to shine. You can learn by some of the best content creators and professional FIFA players out there. Just to name a few, Tex, I mean, Come on, this guy is one of the best FIFA players out there and has been for years. We have him in there. We have a bunch of my friends in there as well with the likes of Elite, Jamodo, Boras. All these guys are great, great people to learn from. And this could be your opportunity to learn from these great FIFA players. There are already a wide variety of training videos and classes on the platform to help you improve your game. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that FIFA is the only game you can improve upon. There are a bunch of games that you can take a look at. You have Dota in here. You have Counter-Strike, which I absolutely loved playing back in a day and at times still tune back in, especially when it comes to the professional events. It's a great one to look at. League of Legends, Rocket League, which is one of the most insane games out there. And then you have Clash of Clans as well. If you want to improve any, any of these games, you can sign up on the platform right now. The link is in the description down below, my friends. You can sign up through that one and save yourself 90% on your first month. As you can see at the bottom right here, the monthly cost is $9.99, but through using my link, you will only have to pay $1. So definitely go ahead and try this one out. Use the code Johnny 90 when doing so. Let's improve your game. Have fun. The time has come. FIFA 23 is here. <laughs> right here right now guys i'm extremely excited to showcase you fifa 23 content once again huge shout out to the ea creators network for making this one possible i really really appreciate it but let's dive straight in into one of the new features that i personally love i've tried it out i've tested it and i'm already in love with it my brain is going after like content ideas like crazy so let's start it off with the playable highlights, a new feature in a game that you definitely should check out. As you can see right above me, it's Erling Haaland season. As you all know, he's crushing it in the Premier League. And today on FIFA 23 career mode, we are testing the playable highlights feature. A feature that in my opinion is bringing so much new stuff into career mode. We're going to talk about the personality overview and all those things in different videos as well. But today I want to focus on the playable highlights and why this could make a player career mode extremely fun for anyone to play. So let's start off and see how this actually works. Is it fluid enough? Are there too many breaks within it? Is it actually captivating your personal like excitement about the game? Let's dive into game one. We're going to try and play through a season of Haaland and I'm going to play through all of their highlights see how it goes this should be a lot of fun starting off with the fa community shield manchester city against liverpool for me as a liverpool fan this is going to be painful when i go ahead and smack liverpool down but let's see how this works so you go onto the play match then you can either go ahead and play as Haaland, right? Where you only control one player. This is in player career mode. You can play as controlling the team. These are things that we already knew about. Or you can play the team highlights, which means anytime the team gets a chance, then you jump in and take over and see what happens. If the attack goes well, good stuff. 
or for player career mode specifically, you can play as Haaland. As we can see right here in the 57th minute in this cup final, we have Haaland coming in first game of the season against Liverpool. Obviously, I had to jump in here. And of course, guys, don't you worry. We're not going to be playing every single game on screen. I'll be picking and choosing the good matchups here. So let's get into it. First game of the season, Haaland. How can you do within just a short amount of time against Liverpool? Play as Haaland. You click it. You wait a few seconds. You dive straight into the game and you get excited. It's time to have some fun. Haaland gets, you know, Fired up by the manager, by Guardiola. You choose yourself an objective. I want to go ahead and choose myself an objective of getting a match rating of at least 6.5. I think we can do this. So right here, we got subbed on. This action is going to go through and then it will switch over to an attack. The playable highlights are on. 60th minute. Haaland gets the ball right here. Only Andy Robertson ahead of us. This is an amazing counter attack. Haaland is through. Haaland is through. He's going to pass it. And that is the goal. We come into the game and immediately this highlight kicks us off. We score it and Manchester City take the lead. This is going to make career mode so much more fun, especially on the player career, but also on the team career. 75th minute, we get another chance. It is still nil one to Manchester City or one nil to Manchester City, I should say. I waited for the offside. And we still have it under control here. Haaland. This is, by the way, on Legendary because this is my first game. I didn't want to go too crazy. Cross over to our teammates. And that's a bad one. And as the attack is over, it switches back over. 90th minute. Liverpool have taken the lead. 2-1. What the hell? <laughs> what just happened? No. No. Shoot. Ah, oh, you should have scored. It's over. We failed miserably. Well... The first trophy belongs to Liverpool, but trust me, I'm coming back for more. Uh, you know what? Even though I'm playing as Haaland, I still enjoy these scenes. Get in, Liverpool! No, sorry, sorry, I'm Haaland, I'm Haaland, calm down. A couple of games into the season now, you can see that Manchester City is on eight points, so the team specifically is doing well. But it is time to step into the first match of Haaland in the Champions League. It's against PSG, it's against Mbappe which should be a massive, massive chance for us. We will be coming in as a substitute, I reckon, which once again puts added pressure on us. There's only 10 minutes to go against PSG. I forgot to do the training sessions. If you do training sessions, obviously your coach is more likely to play you, especially if you don't want to play every single game. What I would suggest is go ahead and skip through the calendar, through a couple of the games that you don't want to play, but make sure to do the training sessions because that way you keep your manager happy and he keeps you in a starting lineup. A very important point. But 10 minutes for Haaland. I think we can do some damage here. So let's get it on. We're coming on as a right wing and Bustos is playing striker, which I don't know how the hell that happened. All right, we get a chance in the 85th minute. PSG have scored. This could be a good run. I see how this play is setting up. And here we go. This is the counter. Go on, Haaland. You're fresh. Ramos. Oh, come on, Haaland. You can't mess that up. 88th minute, we get another chance, but PSG have scored the second goal. Ah, oh, mate, this is putting so much pressure on us. Kevin De Bruyne, I believe it was. What a ball. Haaland cuts back in. Goes on to his left. Finesse. What, mate? How do you even score? Well, guys, you can tell. It is not easy. Two games in. Two losses, one against Liverpool, one against PSG. But trust me, we will come back with this lad and do much better. Lads, it's a miserable situation. Eight games in, only 15 points on the team. Manchester United, out of all teams, is currently leading the league. After the loss against PSG, we have done somewhat all right when it comes to the league. It's not great, though, obviously. Manchester City needs to be much higher up. In the group stages, we are currently on six points after three games, which is not ideal. But we have another game coming up against Liverpool right now. And that means we need to step up. We are a starting 11 player. Now we get the full highlights throughout the entire game. And I'm going to make a camera change because... I want to feel like I am Haaland. So let's see how this goes. If you remember the first time we played against Liverpool, of course, we lost in the cup final. 
Now, I want it to be much different, all right? Score at least one goal, of course. Give me them highlights. I'll take care of it. This is the new camera setting we're going to use just to see if this is better for me, yes or no. So, first attack coming in in 19th minute. KDB on the ball. I'm going to make my run here. Gundogan is looking for options. And Gundogan, I don't know what the hell he did. Oh, we get a penalty. <gasps> Haaland against Alisson. Come on. This is big. This is also the new penalty system. You have to hit the circle when it's green. And then you aim. It's perfect. Yes! The first goal of his career. Haaland has done it. <laughs> Get in. Liverpool beat us once. Not twice, lads. Look at the fans. They are freaking out. This is beautiful. Man City take the lead. Liverpool now have a free kick with Salah. This could be very dangerous. Apparently, you have to come in and defend here against the likes of Haaland and such. Uh, against the likes of Van Dijk and such, I should say. Did he just score a banger, bro? I think he did. Oh, Salah. What a free kick. Oh, we get him in the penalty. <laughs> Dude, Liverpool's defense is all over the place. You love to see it. Do we go the same route again? Does Haaland have the balls? Of course he does. What am I saying? Haaland is one of the most ballsiest strikers out there. He does it again. Run to the fans. Celebrate with him. Erling Haaland scores twice this time around. I still haven't scored from open play, but man, I love the playable highlights. This is going to make career mode so much more fun for me. Game's over. 2-1. Salah's insane free kick was not enough. And if you remember, guys, the first game that we lost was a 2-1 loss against Liverpool. So this is exact payback. Haaland's season is back on and we are climbing up the Premier League table. This was a big one. That's what he said. We are right around the end of December as we speak. Haaland on an 89 rating, 30 games played so far, 14 wins, 7 draws, 9 losses. He has managed to score 15 goals and two assists so far throughout the season guys absolutely love this new feature it allows me to go through the season and just have fun with it and one thing we have to address though is the fact that man city somehow is seventh i mean that i don't know how that happens honestly it might just be down to the fact that this build that i'm playing is still a beta so something's wrong because spurs is first and i don't know how aston villa is fourth and we are in that seventh spot just above liverpool something's happening here and i don't understand but we'll see by the end of the season now champions league wise guys we have done well we have gotten ourselves the second position which is great to see right 13 points but in the premier league we have an issue and we need to sort that issue out. The game that we're playing, though, is a big one. That's what she said. <clears throat> we have a big matchup coming up right now in the Premier League. And we are going to be up against the likes of, yes, you guessed it, Manchester United. Let's get on this massive game. I want to see them highlights. I want to score some banging goals. And I want to make sure that we win this derby. It's a snowy night in Manchester. You love to see it, guys. It is Haaland against Cristiano Ronaldo. This should be the matchup of dreams. He needs to step it up and get it done for his squad. Let's see if he can. Oh, and by the way, I did switch back to the other camera now because it just gives me more oversight over the game itself. And uh, I don't know. The game just looks better, man. Look at the grass. The grass over here is great. Calm down, mate. Alan wants it at the near post. Does he get it? He's up against Harry Maguire. And uh, they get it away with Donny van der Beek. They still have control. Good chance. 37th. Phil Foden. I see that run. Put me through. Let's go, Phil. Haaland. Yes. That's what we do. Where's Ronaldo? Let me sue in his face. Let's go. Beautiful. Erling Haaland is just stepping up when you need him. That celebration, by the way, is a lovely one. Look at the fans. Bro, there's actual limbs in the stadium. These are scenes. It's 1-1. They have equalized. 70 seconds. I need to run in against Harry Maguire and Varane. Cross coming in. Haaland. What a save. Oh my god, bro. There's no breaks. It just goes from one attack to the other and we lost. No. How? Who scored? Oh, mate. That is ridiculous. That last header was the chance to take the lead and at least get a point. But maybe it would have disheartened them enough to not go ahead and score. Oh, match rating 8.0. I take it, but... 
team has to start winning games in the Prem. We can't be losing against these squads. Just a couple of weeks later, a game against Arsenal. We have to jump straight back in. This is not okay. The team needs to be in the top four by the end of the season. Otherwise, I will look at the Premier League season as a massive failure for Man City and specifically Haaland. He might turn out to be the top scorer, but that is not enough. We're going to go ahead and take on the score at least one goal objective. And here come the highlights. Oh, a penalty in the 30th minute against Arsenal. I'm very good at these. Come on now. We're going to smack it top right this time. Let's see. Bang. Green. Top right. Oh, what a goal. What a goal, Haaland. And by the way, if you guys paid attention, you can kind of see right behind the goalkeeper, there's an arrow that goes like left to right. So can you now see what the AI is doing? Hold on. Hold on. We're stay straight back into it. No time to think. Haaland against Bellerin. Oh, Hector Bellerin. This should be easy. Oh my God. I, fa <laughs> I failed. <laughs> I actually failed. 89th minute. It's 1-1. No way. Not again. Bernardo, put me through. Oh, what a ball, Bernardo. Haaland, no. Oh, that's, it, this is just... This defense. What's up with the defense of this squad? I'm doing my job. I'm scoring goals, but they just keep letting us down. Guys, we're in the ninth position as we speak. I mean, what are we doing? What is this team doing in the simulations? It just makes no sense. We're five points away from the top four. Up against Chelsea, who are in the fourth position. We need to get in there to get this done for the team, all right? We are just around in January right now, halfway through the season. We have to turn it around, and now is the time. But we are going to be coming off the bench. Chelsea's leading 1-0. Timo Werner, out of all the players, has done it. We're coming in as a right wing, which could be okay. He is left-footed, so maybe a finesse shot to the far corner. Let's hope it works out. What's going on here? Am I attacking? Do we have the ball? We have the ball. Gundogan. Gundogan. Wait for me. Wait for me. Yes, Gundogan. Yes, Gundogan. I need... Oh! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> what the hell just happened? It's 1-1. 86. Come on, let's win this. This could be hilarious. It's Gundo on in the attack again. He's somehow ahead of me all the time. Gundo. Back into KDB. That's a good run. Oh, what a ball. Goal. Oh, it's offside. No. That was such a good move. 90th minute. Oh, please. Oh, please give me a 90th minute winner. I beg you. KDB on the corner. Haaland waiting for it. He waits for it. Can he get this? He can. I believe in him. And what the hell is that header, brother? Great determination. That doesn't help me. Oh, hold on. There might be another chance here. As we run through, no. We have lost the ball. And it's a 1-1 draw against Chelsea. I mean, I did score, technically. <laughs> I don't know how, but I did. So I did my job. The defense again, letting him down. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. Maybe we have to pick an easier opponent and just smack him. Just so the team gets a little bit of form going. Let's do that. The easy team I've chosen for this, Everton. What? What do you want to say? <laughs> I'm taking Everton here at Goodison Park. It's not necessarily an easy game when it, was, when it would have been real life. Obviously, any game at Goodison Park is not supposed to be easy, but... Let's see how this goes, man. I, I I need to score goals. Put that through now. Put that through now. Yes. Oh, no. Had it. Oh, I thought I was about to get a red card there. 19th minute. Is that going to be Mahrez? Mahrez, yes. The defense is not fully set yet. I can make a run through here. I need my teammates. Oh, what a ball. Phil Foden. Let's. I felt like KDB there for a second. It's nil-nil. I need to utilize these chances because, as we all know, our defense just concedes too many goals. Haaland is through again. Control. The finish just never comes off. Second half, here we are. 51st. I still haven't performed to the level necessary. I'm going to make my run through the defenders and we get that ball. Now Mahrez on the other side. Why is he not running? Mahrez, why did you stop? Mahrez. I told him, I literally pressed the button. He needs to move, but I need to take responsibility there. I guess I messed that up as well. Phil Foden. Phil Foden, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. Oh, yes. Finally, lads. 
It took us too many chances earlier on, and I would not be surprised if in the next highlight it says that Everton scored and equalized. Nil. Oh, still no goal conceded. Phil Foden on the wing. I see him. Find me. I'll find Phil Foden. And there we go. Phil Foden. Wait for me, lad. Wait for me. Now put me through. Oh, maybe not, I guess. What's he doing? What are we doing here? Play me the ball. Great turn. Haaland has the defender on his back. And the game is over. It's... Uh, Pep, put me at centre back. Pep, just put me at centre back. This is just, this is laughable. This team can't keep a clean sheet to save their lives. This reminds me of me in FIFA 17 and 18, where I couldn't keep a clean sheet in any game. Guys, it's time. Champions League football round of 16, and our opponents are Barcelona. It is a massive game. Please, oh please. Just get something done here, man. I need it desperately. We are now 90 rated, by the way. So we have gone up in our rating. Hopefully that will help the team. I am all about scoring goals. I don't need any other targets. So, guys, come on now. This is it. This is it. Don't get scared now. This is where we step up and get it done. 65th minute. What? It took us this long. How the hell did that just happen? Put me through. Yes, beautiful ball. Oh, yes, Haaland. Come on. We need you. We need you here. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Oh, penalty. It's still 1-0. Come on. We hit the post. 80 seconds. This is where I do well, right? This is where I get things done. Penalty. I'm a penalty specialist. Top left. Damn! Damn! Get in. Oh, you could call me Penaldo, mate. This is incredible. Oh. <laughs> oh, mate, I can't tell you how happy I am about that one. Just as happy as these lads right there. That penalty was fire. 1-1, one, one, I take that. I'll take that. There's no away goal rule. So we go to Barcelona and try to get the job done now. Barcelona fans are ready for this. I hope you are too. This is going to be so intense. Hopefully this time around. We don't only get starting uh, like chances. We don't only start getting chances, I should say. After the 60th, boss is already 1-0 up. No, please. No, please. Oh, hold on. Phil Foden and me. 1v2 against PK. That's it, Phil. That's it, Phil. That's it, Phil. Yes. The partnership is working to perfection. Hug me. Why? Why are we not hugging? Why are we... Okay, you know what? Forget it. <laughs> 38th minute. We got to defend here. I'm going to pick PK because he's the largest man in there, isn't he? I'm going to try and defend him. PK. Yeah, look at that. That's what we do. Counter attack now with the likes of Haaland. KDB. Come on, Haaland. What? You can't take that away from me. I'm running through on goal. Oh, mate, what are you doing, EA? Guys, it's hard enough already. Here he goes, though. One more time. Take your time on this. Yes. Get in. 2-1. Bringing a little bit of safety to the squad. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 2-2 in a second here with the next highlight. But, man, now things are going well. Two goals for Haaland in the round of 16 against Barca. It's 2-1. Let's finish it off. This could be the counter-attack to do so. The pace of Haaland here is going to be the one. Yes. 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 Come on. Run through. Oh, look at that touch. He's just on a mission. He is just unstoppable. Inevitable. He is basically... What's the guy from Marvel? Inevitable. Ah, come on. What's his name, Johnny? Ah, oh, you messed up. What's his freaking name? The guy with the purple head that looks like a thumb. Thanos. There we go. Got it. <laughs> the game is over. We're through into the quarterfinals. Before we go back into the Champions League, let's take a look at this right here. We have Bayern Munich coming up, guys. That's going to be quite interesting to watch and play, obviously. But in the Premier League, we are currently ninth. Man, 51 points. Ah, uh, dude, uh, it's it's awful. We're going to qualify for the Conference League unless we can win the Champions League, which is obviously the goal number one. Okay, Haaland, Man City, Bayern Munich. This is tough. Crossing opportunity for Manchester City in the 30th minute. The first step for Haaland and his squad. Bernardo Silva. That's the run through. That's the pass. The turn. 
Uh, Upamecano already knows him from the Bundesliga, but hold on. Manchester City solo run. This is me against Kimmich, huh? Okay, let's take this slow. Bang. Pace burst. Yes. Yes. It's not ideal. It's on his left, but he still manages to put it through on the near post. I did not see that coming at all. I was pretty sure Neuer would save that one. But we're 1-0 up, guys. 42nd minute. Another chance presents itself. I see Mahrez on the top right. And I play it through. Oh, yeah, that's awful. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, God. It's 1-1. One, one. Okay, okay, come on. Let's, let's utilize these chances properly. I'm in behind the defense. I'm waiting for my ball. And here it comes. It's a quality through ball. Haaland cuts back in on his left and Upamecano just won't fall for it at all. Bayern now 2-1 up, 76. What the hell is going on? Bro, how are we losing control so fast? Upamecano. The over the top through ball of dreams. Phil Foden can't get it. We might, as we might actually lose this game. It's 2-1. There's a good ball over to a man making a perfect run. It's Mahrez. I'm going to try and help him out here. Mahrez, find me. No, Mahrez, find me. Oh, we are under immense pressure now. 2-1 down against Bayern Munich. This is even harder than the Barcelona matchup. Let's get straight to the next one. So far, though, in the Champions League season, Haaland with the most goals, eight goals in nine matches. In terms of assists, we are not in there at the moment. We are not performing on the assist level, that's for sure. When it comes to the Premier League, though, I want to take a look into that as well. Fifth in terms of goals. Okay, 16 goals in 31 matches. Not the best of seasons, but... <sighs> We'll, we'll hopefully get there by the end of the season. The fans are ready, but you can see they are nervous, and I am too. This could be our season done. If I can't pull this off, guys, I'll be very, very upset. I'm going for the goal. I'm going to enhance that one. That's help me. Help me. Give me your energy by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Let's get it. 18th minute. This is it. Bayern Munich have lost the ball. We have... Haaland's just waiting for this ball to come across to himself. Plays a nice little one-two. Sees his teammates on the wing. Phil Foden help, helping him. KDB, beautiful run. KDB, if anyone can, he can. He does get taken out, you know. Crossing opportunity for Manchester City, it says. Bernardo. Come on, Bernardo. What are we doing? Oh, hold on. Passing it. But let's shoot. Why is he not shoot? What is he doing? What the hell is Mahrez doing? <laughs> we need to score. This man is doing Joga Bonito inside the box. Let's try this. Bernardo Silva. What a ball. The touch. The header. He takes it on. Haaland. <laughs> oh, penalty. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting so lucky. Okay, penalty. This is all me versus Manuel Neuer. Manuel Neuer. Top right. This is going in. It is going in, man. This new penalty system is 10 times better than the one before. I hated the one before. This one is class. Well done, EA. It could be a little bit more difficult, though. I would speed that up, that circle. I would speed it up a little bit. But the Man City fans are going mental. And we could, we could actually take the lead. We just equalized on aggregate. And now it could be... Another one as Phil Foden plays it through. Haaland against Neuer. What am I doing? What the hell am I doing? This is not a beauty contest. Just smack it into the top right. Leonardo finds me. Haaland sees KDB. Makes his run. Oh my god. KDB, bro. Wow. That pass. That attack specifically could have happened in real life and it did a million times with kdb you play the ball into him keep making your run diagonally and then you get the chance of a lifetime and now we could actually take it all the way away from byron because right now if they score one goal they can still be in it but no 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 that's not gonna happen bang what yes we did it Bayern did not manage to score. Semi-finalists, Man City, have done it. Well, lads, I wanted to go ahead and play Liverpool in the semi-final, but in the second leg, but we just smacked them. Like, we just destroyed them in the first leg, 4-0. So, we are now 
in the Champions League final against PSG. And as far as I can remember, if we go back all the way to the beginning, the first game in the Champions League was against PSG and we did lose it 2-0. So it is time for revenge on the biggest stage you can imagine. I will be taking on PSG. But before we do that, let's take a look at the league standings. Where did we finish? In the Premier League, it was an un unsuccessful season, but we did manage to get ourselves Europa League football. Nice, <laughs> but who cares? If we win the Champions League now, that's all that matters. That is for sure. And if we look at the um, My Pro here, and we go into my, uh, the season, you can see it there, actually. You can see Haaland is the top scorer in the Champions League, which is obviously beautiful. But then when it comes to the Premier League, we need to be aware as well that it wasn't that much of a terrible season for him there. Obviously not as good as expected, but 17 goals in 38 matches. Now, this is the grand finale. I'm going to jump into a training session, get into the starting lineup and take on PSG and Mbappe. Every single chance is worth its weight in gold. This is the moment you have been waiting for. Manchester City in the Champions League final. And here it goes. 42nd minute. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? What is Mares doing in offside there? Phil Foden. Foden doesn't have an option. KDB doesn't see me. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep the ball under control. Beautiful football. I lose it. And that's not ideal. We get a pen. PSG already leading 1-0. I'm the pen master. I'm the FIFA 23 pen master. Come on, Johnny. You can do this. Top right. Oh, that might be a little bit too much power. Okay, I can't celebrate because <laughs> my heart is beating like crazy. I swear to God, guys, this is it now. We might get one more chance. 84th minute. Is this the one to win it all? Manchester City with Haaland. Bernat is just standing there. What a horrible freaking pass that was. Find me again. Down the wing. This is the one. Oh, no, I was through. Go on. Yes, that's it. Yes. 84th minute, Erling Haaland has done it. Oh, yes. Unless, unless PSG score. We'll know in just a second. Ref blows the whistle. Get in. A penalty and a counter-attack. Absolute limbs as we get to lift the Champions League trophy. The first one of many to come on the channel for FIFA 23. If you enjoy this type of content and FIFA 23 content specifically, make sure to smash that like button and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. There's so much content coming your way. Guys, I'd also really appreciate it if you could drop a follow on my Insta. It is at Johnny Sports. I am posting a lot more over there and you can follow my fitness journey and my life in general. Man, this has been beautiful. This new feature is class. It's one of the best things EA have added, in my opinion. At first, I wasn't too much hyped about it, but now I understand how it can change the dynamics of career mode. And now we get to lift it. We stand right next to him as he lifts it up. Haaland looks at him, and this is the moment we have all been waiting for. No cheers, no audio. That needs to be fixed. <laughs> Guys, we have done it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Take care and peace.